Pampers. Pringles. Even Pantene shampoo. All products of parent company P&G. The consumer group is now launching corporate ads in a bid to make their name more visible. Procter & Gamble is betting that a preference for one of their brands, like Fairy Dish Soap, will lead to the purchase of another one of their products, like Gillette Shaving Gel. They say when consumers make the connection between the brands, purchasing intent goes up 20%. And in today's day and age, they say consumers will find out who's behind the label anyhow. Erwin Lee runs Procter & Gamble in the UK. There's a higher interest in really finding out who is behind the brand and uh, are they upstanding? What is their character? And we feel that we have a good story to tell because of the values we have as a company. The new campaign, aimed at moms, coincides with the London 2012 Olympics. They say similar ads for the Vancouver Games made individual brand ads more effective and increased so-called equity or trust by 10 points. In total, they say the campaign generated a $100 million sales boost. According to one analyst, grouping all the brands together, though, does carry a risk. If, for example, you had a Toyota situation or a BP situation and that happened to P&G, it could tarnish one of the underlying product brands. But I think increasingly people are seeing that there's more risk in not saying where the brands come from and managing the corporate brand well than just not saying where it comes from at all. Procter & Gamble is following the lead of some of its rivals like Unilever and Reckitt Benckiser in trying to make themselves better known. Clearly, it's more efficient to advertise a single name, but it's also a response to consumers demanding to know more. Olivia Stearns, Bloomberg, London.